Okay, um, today I am going to show you how to remove the M86 um, security web filter for like school MacBooks and crap like that or your own MacBook that you bought from someone used from like a pawn shop or something or if you stole it, I don't know, I don't care how you got your computer. I'm not sure if that this works on um, PCs, but this is how you do it for Macs. All right, well, all right, I'm gonna show you. I already did it, so <coughs> um, just to show you the they dot work and see it it doesn't block it, so it automatically direct redirects it to the new website that ends with dot se and before that it would just show you a m86 web filter thing that said it's blocked for like adult content or stuff like that alright so exit out of that alright what you want to do is alright since I already did this I have like three OS software things. I'm running Snow Leopard on this one. I have a hard drive running Lion and I have another hard drive running uh, Mountain Lion Beta. And uh, and then I'm running the school Mac uh, internal hard drive running Snow Leopard as well. As you can see, this is the school Mac. I am running this one right here, Snow Leopard. And this is the one I already removed the web filter off of now because like I made a a backup copy of <coughs> my school hard drive um, just to basically screw around with apps that don't work on Lion. Um, all right, so now to get down to business. All right, go to your hard drive uh, and then applications. No wait it's alright go to your hard drive library application support and then you will have the E86 mobile client and the be secure click on be secure um, alright this is what you want to do let's see alright go down to your applications utilities um, terminal and then uh, you, you type in sudo space dash s then you press enter type in your admin password and then you get that and then from here move that to the side and then you drag this file the e86 client uninstaller.sh you drag that over here and you press enter and then what you're gonna want to do is press Y and then enter and then it's gonna scroll all these letters and stuff it might take a few minutes and then after that after it's done you type in reboot like reboot and then you press enter and then it should reboot your computer and then once it's starting up at the white screen where it shows like an apple with the little loading circle uh, you'll see a loading bar down here it should be gray and then it should start loading up it's basically on installing the web filter and if you try going onto a website that's usually blocked and it's still blocked just go back in here and uh, if this is still here do it again or if not go down to mcuu uninstall sh and redo it with this one but do like uninstall this one first and uh, didn't mention but you will need a admin account I will, uh, to do that basically I'll give you a link to a pretty good 
website or not website video on YouTube and it should you should be able to get a new admin account but before you do get the admin account if you're on your school laptop and you're doing this and you don't have an admin right to your user what I recommend is going down to your system preferences down to sharing and type in your computer somewhere like on a piece of paper write down your computer name because once you make a new admin account it will delete your computer name and if you go back to school and get on the network your uh, administrator will be able to see uh, a different computer name for your uh, what's it called for your computer basically they basically they have a computer screen like a program that shows everybody every student's name and then right beside it they have their MacBook name like it's usually numbers like for our school it was numbers um let's see er crap cancel uh you can find er it's not really under here but it'll give you an idea is basically numbers kind of like um where is it Oh, here we go. All right, basically, the school's computer was like the network location or something like that, but it it was different though. So make sure you write down your uh, Mac's uh, computer name. That way, you can once you make your new admin account, it'll change it to like. Uh, whatever you named your new admin account and then that way you can just go back into here uh, to make your changes and re type in like your computer name and then it should once you exit out of it it should automatically save the computer name so uh, that's really all you'll have to do um, if you can't get into single user mode just leave a message and I'll make a new video how to get into single user mode if it's blocked because usually some schools block the single user mode but you can still get into it like by basically resetting the RAM but yeah that's about it it's really easy I just figured it out how to remove the web filters and uh, it's so easy so and I've never seen a YouTube video over it so yeah thanks